Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. Today, back into Gary Grigsby's War in the East 2, this is our Let's Play against the Soviet AI, and apologies, I did not get a live stream yesterday or today, just been a slight bit under the weather, just a slight bit, um, but uh, just wasn't able to do or didn't feel up to it. You know, I, I like to be on when I'm with you guys, or at least not off. How about that? And so, you know, I thought it would be better just to record this. I want to keep the game moving as much as I can. And so uh, I thought, you know, I don't feel terrible or something. So I thought, well, I'll just record one and uh, we'll turn the turn. I like to turn it with you guys and do my auctioneering voice. But unfortunately, uh, that's not in the cards for today. So let's go from south to north and see what we've got going on here. We've already looked at the Crimea, right? We've got the unit out here, the Romanian 2nd Corps. We've got 4th Romanian Army that it goes back to. Also goes over here to Corne, who is 11th Romanian Corps. He's a little overstacked for now. Uh, we do have the Romanian Mountain Corps over here uh, that we could move back over if we think we need some more command. And maybe we will. Maybe we will. Uh, then we've got the, what is this, 62nd Reserve Corps under Hollett. Uh, Hollett's got all of his uh, goodies. He's 10 for 10. All right, that all looks fine. And uh, so I think the Crimea is fine. Got the four down in Sevastopol. Hoping all of that gets pulled over here. I tried to go three, four. It didn't seem to work at all. So, you know, we'll try to f uh, fly our freight back out here before we turn the turn, certainly. Uh, the aforementioned Mountain Romanian Corps is sitting here. And we can always bring it back over by boat, uh, by transport, if we think we need to. I mean, maybe we will. Uh, you know, we're overstacked now. Uh, uh, but Cornet is a good general, and hopefully that little bit of a penalty won't be, you know, too detrimental. Um, we do have a German division back here, the 292nd. Now that was, oh, you know what we can do, actually? This does not need to be in that core anymore. So I think what we can do here is just attach this back up to OKH. Let's do that, I think. Yeah, we don't really have a spot. I mean, Ninth Army, we could put it in there, or Fourth Army or something, but that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Kempf is probably a little too far away. We could put it in, like, Army Group South, I guess. Uh, I guess that's what I'll actually do. Let's put that in Army Group South directly attached there. Army Group South is uh, up here. So it would, you know, it's in command. It'll get that dice roll advantage of going through one more layer of command. But this unit almost certainly is going to go back to the reserves. We can't do it this time. We don't have enough strategic points uh, because it's got zero. Uh, that, that You can't have less than that. Uh, well, I guess we could have negative numbers, but uh, not in this game. It's zero, so we can't get it back to the reserves unless it's got enough strategic move points. So moving through the south here, uh, we have got 34th Corps. So I went through some of these. I tried to get them ironed out. It's not going to get all the way there this time. We've had so many units that have withdrawn, uh, and we've brought so many units back out of the reserves that it's a little, you know, look, 96% of these units are under good command. Uh, it's just trying to, it's like playing Jenga, trying to get the last few of them in the proper command here. Uh, you've got Grosner, who's uh, the core commander over uh, the divisions in Odessa. He's also got the Slovak uh, motorized here, plus two other divisions. So that Slovak is a three instead of a two. That pushes him to 11 of 10. Yeah, that's fine. He's got all of his support units that he needs. Um, then we go here, and I just brought this 30th Corps on, and I think we're going to have to do something with it because if we go up here, the 331st, the 123rd, and this uh, tank division, the Panzer division, uh, we're all in a core that withdrew, okay? And so I've already transferred the Panzer Division over here to 48th Panzer Corps. That does put him just slightly over because he's got some Romanians here. But that's better than, you know, going up to another level with the command. I guess I could have... Uh, he's 9 of 10 as well. Okay, good to know. Um, so that has gone there, but I have these two infantry divisions 
30th core does he he does have some you know we brought in these support units so i think what we need to do these two new divisions came in i gave that to the 30th and then i think if we get over here a little bit oh that should work let's give both of these guys to the 30th they're both infantry they don't need to go back to the panzer corps so let's go 30th and we'll go 30th here and again this is the kind of stuff we're gonna have to get it straightened out but i just want to make sure that they've got you know command they've got support units in case they get attacked this time so he's got the two romanian divisions that we brought up here two german divisions here uh okay i mean you know it's not perfect yet but we'll get it there uh reinhardt 11 of 10 that's fine We've got uh, 44th Corps. He's got 8 of 10. This is uh, Martinic. Okay. You know, he's got a lot of infantry there. If we turn on the defensiveness, 22, 39, 24, 35. It's not great, but uh, it's also not terrible. Okay. Uh, it could be worse, right? Um, <clears throat> here we go. We've got 4th Corps. That is under Hase. Uh, very good infantry general. We're going to make sure we keep all infantry underneath. And as we do that, we see a, a motorized unit. Well, <laughs> that's kind of stuff we're going to have to get straightened out as we move forward here. But for this turn, uh, I think I'm just going to leave it. Because, uh, you know, once I start jumbling with that, it's going to lead to a whole cascade of things that we got to get straightened out. we got 48th Panzer Corps that we talked about. Okay, yep, that's going back. That's fine. We've got 41st, or I'm sorry, 46th Panzer Corps under von Vettengoff. Okay, we brought this new division in. We got all kinds of Romanian corps back here. Also, 1st Panzer Army, which is under Hoth, uh, the generalist Hermann Hoth. Um, okay, we've got, you know, Again, it's uh, it's not perfect. 24th Panzer Corps. I'd probably like to move a few of these things around, uh, but it, not this turn. It doesn't make sense to do it this turn, really, because it just sets off a massive chain reaction. And as others have pointed out, we've got a, n a number of cores that are sitting back in the reserves we can bring in. And just like this core down here, I mean, he only had uh, 4 of 10. Now I've given him 10 of 10. So all of these have got like 10 or 11 of 10. Uh, nothing that's just outrageously over, except at the army level. And a big reason for that is right now we don't have assault armies because we want our, our motorized still to be digging in, but we will soon flip some of these panzer corps or the panzer armies into assault armies. And when we do that, we get a lot more command points. We'll put all of the motorized back into the Panzer Corps. Or, I'm sorry, Panzer Armies, I should say. Uh, yeah, of course, they'll be in Panzer Corps too, but uh, ultimately into the Panzer Armies under assault. Um, okay, so that's 24. That's fine. Uh, we've got 5th Romanian Corps that's got a few troops here. He's ultimately up to 3rd Romanian Army. 3rd uh, Panzer Corps, you know, he's got... A little bit here. Uh, we need to get more into Third Panzer Corps, uh, certainly under von Mackensen, who's a good general. And, you know, Romanians there. I think this is all set up the way I'm going to have it be set up. Uh, again, you know, look, we're, we're constantly trying to adjust here, whether it be the commands or, you know, getting on the best terrain we can. We can't really take any more steps back. Uh, this is pretty much it. We, you know, we got to make our stand here. And so I'm, I'm shuffling. I'm trying to bring things in. I'm trying to, you know, set them into good fort levels. We've got a lot of this now up here, you know, three, well, you see up here, two, two, three. I believe this is a three. I believe that's a three underneath there. We can take the uh, logistics off. Yep, you know, uh, two, two, three, 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 two, three. You know, that's what you want. That's what you want. That's what we've been lacking the first two winters. But if you're going to play, you know, a good solid defense here, you got to get those fort levels up. It's, uh, you know, better than having another division sitting in the hex. Uh, it's that powerful. Uh, from an algorithmic perspective, <laughs> listen to me. What are you in a physics class here? Um, I don't like this two gap. Why do I have a two gap there? Should this guy move up? I think he should. He's uh, we're in swamp. I hadn't noticed that before. Swamp. Did he get knocked around or something? 
I don't know, but I, I, I feel like he needs to go right there into Dubno. Now, you know, it's a 19, but uh, we had a two-gapper there. Uh, let's move that command up just in case they do break through so he doesn't get displaced. Look, we got all kinds of problems with the Hungarians there, certainly. We still have a division left here in Warsaw, so that was kind of, you know, one of the last things I wanted to deal with. Now, if you look, as we pull this out, we are going to be able to stretch German, you know, Here's the last good German division. You know, these are all Luftwaffe field divisions, although we do have a Jaeger division here that's, you know, not bad. I mean, the TOE is 95. They fight well out in the mud. Uh, and here's a Jaeger division. So right here and really right here, once we fill those in, we'll have German divisions all up and down the line. Uh, that was not looking like something that would be possible even, you know, a turn or two ago. So we've done a good job of getting, you know, stuff up here and starting to fill this line. And we've got a lot more that will be coming out of the reserves next turn. But we've got this division and this division back in near Berlin uh, that we can put out here on the line. And I mean, they are all damn near full divisions, 97 on the TOE. Well, I think as usual, this thing needs to come to the south. Uh, I say as the usual, uh, I've probably put too many things into the north and center, but luckily we had these huge fort levels that kept us, you know, in good, decent shape out here. So I think this guy, you know, for instance, we've got withdrawers, we got stuff out here that's not looking great. I'm going to bring him down here on the train. And then I'm going to take the, the uh, unit that's back here by Berlin, uh, which truly is a brand new fresh unit. And I'm going to bring it into, let's say, Stanislav. I've already brought a lot of stuff into this area. If we're looking from a pure defensive standpoint, we got a 33-7. That's not good. Uh, but a 20, we got that motorized sitting right behind him, so that's not terrible. Uh, we could move the motorized up and help him out. What is this? Lightwoods? This is Lightwoods. Okay, well, I want to stay in Koval just in case they break through there. Um we had this unit get smoked back here before. Anyway, the point is, where, where would I want to bring this in? 35, 20, 19. I mean, this is looking weak. Now, I just moved this back up here. You know, he kind of got knocked around. 87. Wow, look out, guys. Uh, well, they're sitting in a level 3 fort. That helps. Although it's not helping too much here. That's only 15. Uh, on the defensive. Should be better than that, but I think, you know, he just moved in there, so he's a little tired right now. 22, 21, we've got this uh, sitting back here on the mountaintops. Uh, well, let's call them hilltops. Those are mountaintops. Uh, oh, this is cool. I never, I guess I haven't been looking close enough to see Mount Hoverla. Huh. Okay. Uh, here, you know, we've got Romanians trying to play defense, so maybe this would be a good place to bring them in, or all the way to the south. Either way, I'm going to wheel this thing to the south, um, you know, whether it's, a, it's all the way to the south or not, we shall see. I did bring that in there, that in there. Let's go in Stanislav, probably. Well, nah. How about we go, like, well, they could get there. Let's go to Super. Kieva. Sure, we're going to go right in there. Um, okay, so we're starting to get these units, you know, in here, getting them into the south. We'll have more things withdraw eventually here. Uh, but let's go back to our reserves and let's just see what we need to get rebuilding here. Oh, shoot. Let's uh, actually get off that for a second, turn that. Now we go here. There we go. Uh, headquarters units. Now, you know, again, we've got some back here. Do we need to have them back here? Probably not. We could probably get them out on the map, but we got to rebuild one of them first. Well, I say that, but actually the 26 core looks okay. Let's get that out on the map so that we've got that core. Now, we've got some cores up by 4th Army that don't look too bad. So, you know, keep that in mind. Armored units. Uh, we're still trying to rebuild the 23rd Panzer. I think I'm going to leave that as is. Then we look uh, down into the infantry units, 28s. We see a 31. We see a 34. This Romanian group, I'm going to keep that rebuilding. Try to get a little higher. Uh, 25, 30, 16. Okay. Well, you know, we got a lot of 
crap here. 120 second, we will turn refit on. And then I guess for the Jaeger division, we'll turn the refit on. We'll put all of these guys out in the swamp. Uh, let's see, what else? 77, 23, 25, there's a 30. Let's put the refit on there. 32, refit on. I think one, two, three, four, five, but one of these is Romanian. Let's do one more. Wasn't there like another, let's see, 29's the highest I've seen here. Ah, there's a 30. Okay, 380. Oh, I've already got it on there. Duh. Uh, 20, 25, 32. Okay. Well, let's just do the 46th. And we'll refit on that. Cavalry units. Eh. None of this. I'm probably not going to do much. Oh, hey, there's the Mountain Division. Let's take their refit off. And let's transfer that back to the map. Okay. We've got a lot of things coming back to the map next time. I mean, like seven divisions, I think, and a panzer division. So just something to keep in mind there. Um, gun units, not a whole lot we can do there. Okay, so that's the reserves. I think, I'm not sure if it's going to be this turn. It may be the turn after. We're going to start bringing all of our air assets back on the map. I guess we'll have to see, you know, is it raining? Is it, what's going on? You know, is there a blizzard coming on? What's happening? Um, okay, let's fly some freight if we can. F9. Where do we want it to go? Well, we're giving up Minsk. We're giving up the depot there. Hate to do it, but we got to do it. Try to get it out of here. Out of here. Uh, this bulge just too much, and they were going to get around us eventually. We got to pull back, set up the line. Hey, you know, giving up this one town is just not a huge deal. We've really, this right here, next turn, we've got to get something in. Because we just don't want to give this up uh, there, obviously. I mean... You know, if he breaks through here, there's not, you know, there's nowhere to really go right off the bat, but, sorry, had to tell my dog to quit yelping. <laughs> I was like, what in the world is going on? Uh, it sounded like a battle outside uh, the door here. Uh, anyway, the point is, is, you know, look, is it, you know, I think we've got what, what do we have back here? Hold on, let's get off this for a second. Don't I have something in here? No, that's a routed unit. Okay, so we're in the heavy woods, heavy woods, you know, heavy woods here. But we've got to get, you know, some more of those light divisions out here, potentially in the swamp or in the rough, or maybe a full German division here in, what is the name of this town? Oh, it's Ballystock. Okay, uh, we got to get in there. Uh, you know, again, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll get there, but, uh, we're trying to put our fingers in a dike. Uh, no jokes necessary. Okay. Let's go, uh, flying and let's try to take some goods out here to the Crimea. We'll come out of Constanta, which has a lot of them. And let's start it out with a single mission and launch it. Okay, uh, we run into no Soviet resistance there, so let's try that again. Come out of Constanta again, and we'll do multiple missions and launch them out there. Make keep making sure we got some good a good freight situation out in the Crimea. It's actually all worked out for us. I'm not saying that's because of some brilliance of my own. Yes, I am. Actually, I should say that. No, it uh, it's just worked out okay. The Soviet AI hasn't been very aggressive into the Crimea. It ends up, you know, we got enough. I got enough units off of here that we could feed the ones that we've got. It now that took a few turns, but we got there. Uh, Odessa. I mean, I'd love to fly in here once, but we'd probably lose a lot of planes. Uh, you know, we, we saw quite a bit of Soviet air when trying to get into Minsk and also into Peskov a few times. And so I think I'm going to leave that. I think I'm going to leave that. Um, what else to do? Eh, I think that's about it. So it's all about just turning the turn here, hoping we can hold on. In these upcoming turns, hopefully it'll start to rain. Hopefully it'll start to get muddy. As it does, it's all about getting the infantry back on the map, backing the motorized off to the extent they need to rebuild a little bit or rest a little bit. Great, but we can also get them on reserve so they're helping the whole defensive line in their sector, etc. Um, 
but then preparing, you know, for some kind of encirclement somewhere. Uh, even if it's, you know, several limited smaller ones, uh, we got to take out some Soviet troops before uh, 1944, certainly before the winter of 43-44. All right, uh, let's do it and see what happens. Uh, come on, Rain. End our turn. Yes. All right, here we go. Boy, it feels weird not going to look at your guys' comments here. Maybe it's a good thing. You guys might be yelling at me. My God, man. Um, we'll see. We'll see how aggressive the Soviet AI wants to be. I don't know. I don't know how extended their logistics are. I, You know, I always think, gosh, their logistics should be pretty extended. And maybe they are. But from what we see, it doesn't seem to hamper them that much. <laughs> So maybe it's not nearly as bad as I imagine them to be, although we see a lot of orange and yellow, you know, on their uh, soft, soft factors, as they call them up here on their counters. Uh, so maybe, I, you know, look, they've got so many men that even if uh, they're not particularly well fed or have that many bullets, sometimes they can just overwhelm us with the number of men. Uh, but we'll see. Going through their logistics phase now. I'm going to try to stream tomorrow morning. I'm going to try. Now, I've got a baby shower tomorrow. So <laughs> you're like, my gosh, man, uh, what a life. But yeah, a little baby on the way in less than two months. So we're having our baby shower tomorrow. We'll see if the wife lets me get away with streaming. But I'd certainly like to since I wasn't able to today. Uh, they've captured Minsk, gentlemen. They've captured Minsk. All hope is lost. Well, let's hope not. All right. The air going through the air portion here. We'll see. I, they've been running a lot of bombing runs recently. Um, back into our, our cities. You know, they're trying to hit our production and whatnot. Because they haven't been hitting units. So you can see these sorties clicking off here. Uh, you know, we've taken three losses. They've taken 42. Well, a lot more than that, 69, 72. Uh, but they're hitting things behind the line, whether it be manpower or, you know, otherwise. All right. They're taking a beating. Uh, hopefully our cities are not or resources. 123 losses to eight. Uh, they lost a lot of that from uh, flak. Uh, they lost some from air to air because, of course, we do have, you know, fighters up. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Any front attacks? Weak points? Soviet front attacks upcoming? Ah, <laughs> it went right on by. So the Soviets have decided to stop their attack. Uh, quote unquote, uh, their limited spring offensive. Um, that must mean the rain is here. Uh, we'll see. To quote Millie Vanilli, raindrops uh, keep falling on my head. Wait a minute. No, blame it on the rain. Blame it on the rain. Uh, and they didn't even sing that. Can I blame it on Millie Vanilli when they didn't even sing the damn song? Maybe not. But uh, the Soviets decide not to attack this turn. Well, I picked the perfect turn for you guys not to be here during the combat resolution. Look at me go. Uh, that, well, that's when you're a professional, guys, that's what happens. Uh, you, you just know these things. Wow, I can't, I'm very surprised. I mean, they're super extended, right? They may as well keep going. I, I don't know why you'd pull up here, but hey. You know, uh, maybe their logistics, you know, we were just talking about that. Maybe their logistics are a lot worse than I could even imagine. All right, let's go through their freight. And now it's, there we go, on to our logistics. It's now turn 95, April 11th, 1943. April of 43. Wow, we're going to make it. And I don't want to jinx myself, but I got to say, it's pretty amazing. This game was so stable upon release that uh, I don't even want to say it. But the game keeps going, okay? I'm just going to leave it at that, all right? 
and I've been pleasantly surprised we haven't had any problems with that because, uh, you know, I mean, we're playing the 1.0000 version of this game. So pretty amazing that we haven't had more problems. All right, through our logistics and uh, on to the turn. You know, I, I I guess we gotta go, ah, that's it. See, you can see the rains coming in. Here's the mud. Uh, yep, there's the mud. The mud is happening and that's why the Soviets pulled up. Uh, you can see some actual, you know, real mud out here. What is this? Let's look, yeah, water nine, heavy mud. So this is considered heavy mud as well, but you know, because of the Soviet red here, it looks darker, but this is now all heavy mud and the rain's all here. The rain's all here. Thank God we, we needed it. Uh, let's look at the weather map really quickly and you can see on the ground, the heavy mud uh, all through here. Boy, oh boy, is that welcome. Uh, weather in the air, you can see all the rain at the start of the turn. At the end of the turn, complete uh, deluge. Uh, Noah begins to build an ark. Uh, excellent, excellent. Let's look at the map where, you know, when the rains come, we held on down here in the south. Amazingly, really. Uh, but we did. We got it all set up. We got into fort levels and we finally stopped the Soviet horde really right at the Romanian border. Uh, we couldn't have gone back any further. Uh, as we get up into the center here, they also decided not to attack here, even into the marshes or whatnot. They did advance a little bit, right? Uh, you know, it's, it's not like they didn't move forward at all. They just didn't attack. Um, you know, this is a real problem in this area. But I think you already knew that. Uh, we only had Luftwaffe field divisions there. They don't move forward here. And I'm pretty sure we can get all. You can see where the Soviets moved or advanced forward. That pink there. Uh, you can always do that. Just click on a unit. And you can see every hex that they took this turn. And you can see this is where they made their biggest kind of move uh, through the north and the center. Most places they just advanced by one hex. Okay, they didn't advance at all in the south, of course, because we were just uh, mano we mano there. Uh, well, we live to fight another day, guys. And uh, now that the mud's here, look, we'll continue doing the same thing I've been doing, cycling things into the reserves, back out of the reserves, getting those rebuilt, getting our line, getting it all infantry on the line so we can take our motorized and get them back a hex or two, let them rest a little bit, put them on reserve, get them ready for some kind of offensive. We'll mass in a couple of different locations and see what happens. Uh, like I said, not feeling great. So I'm going to call this an episode, just kind of leave it there. I, I just wanted to turn the turn today. Little did I know we would get no combat. And so there's going to be a little shorter episode. I'll try to go ahead and stream tomorrow. Uh, that would be Saturday. What is that? March? Uh, I want to say it's the 17th, maybe, or 18th. Uh, somewhere around there. I always forget the date. But anyway, um, hopefully I'll be able to do that. If not, I will definitely stream on Sunday. Uh, so look for me then. This has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. Have a good one. Talk to you guys later.